Hey, I'm starting out with, um, this is my Thursday meal, so I'm going to pull it down for the moment. So I got Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and I need to add Monday. So Monday is going to be with the fam, and they're having lasagna, so I'm going to go on and pull my lasagna out. <clears throat> Get that in here. So, shift everything around. So that way Monday I'll have, like I said, I'll have lasagna and, and a meal. So depending on what they have for the other one, but at least I'll have the lasagna with the family. Um, so this is Thursday, Friday. So Saturday I'm going to mom's and they're having, I don't remember if I told you or not. Uh, well, I know I told you they're having pulled pork. Well, um, they're having green beans and they're okay, but I want something else. So I've got my zucchini blend in here. I put a whole bag, which is three and a half servings, and I put on here Saturday to mom's. So I'll take that to mom's Saturday to have with the pulled pork. So tomorrow, and I'm not going to be pulling out extra muffins because I'll be, eat, I'll be at home. So I'll eat breakfast at home and not at work. But tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow is a day we're having... Um, Hang on, let me cheat and see which I want tomorrow. One tablespoon heavy whipping cream. 200 jicama. Heavy whipping cream. I'll take that to work tomorrow. <clears throat> I'll save that for supper tomorrow. So, <clears throat> we're expecting rough weather tomorrow. And let me tell you about where I live. I was telling <coughs> Gina tonight. Where I live in Cape Girardeau... It's like a bowl. Um, so we live in a valley. And north of us, about 30 minutes, is Perryville, St. Genevieve. And then 100 miles north of us is St. Louis. Well, they are, it's like they're higher up. And so um, they get more of the snow and the pretty light, fluffy stuff. But we get the sleet, the rain, and the cold weather and ice so while they're calling for snow tomorrow we're uh everybody's preparing for it to be ice um because that's just what we get you know everywhere every part of the country and the world we all have our issues like we are tornado alley and we're also prone to ice where i live instead of pretty snow we used to get snow when i was a kid just not much now so what is this? Oh, I know. I did this up. Um, I think I, I, I flavored this. So it's got, I did the jicama with a tablespoon of heavy whipping cream and some of that uh, Crave seasoning. So, <clears throat> let me see. What do I want with it? Uh, what have I not had in a while? Hey, this is the 93% ground beef. So, that means it's lower calories. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get us some Rayo's marinara. Okay, we're not. It's not open. Hang on. Okay, so along with our all gratin type style roasted jicama. Oh, man. Come on, fella. Got it. We're going to have some Italian. So, and no, I have not, I forgot who I was talking to about that. I have not gone to get oregano yet because I get paid tomorrow and it's on my shopping list. But I got some Italian style herbs. Which maybe it hasn't in there. Alright, so, Italian herbs. We're going to have a little extra basil. Got to be careful because I took the little whole thingy off of it. Um, let's put a little onion powder on it. Just a little blue, 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 blue. And a little bit of garlic powder. You just can't go wrong with garlic and onion powder. Now, <clears throat> I want a little kick with it tomorrow. So I'm going to use some this Creole seasoning. Isn't there a song about, hey there, Creole, something, something, something. It's a country song, I think. 
Hey, something Creole. Something, 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 something. Mm, I'm going to put a little rosemary on it. Now, I probably could add some salt, but I'm not going to because I want to wait and see how it tastes tomorrow when I have it all mixed up. So I'm going to do a half cup of Rayo's, which is 125 grams. All right. Now, we got to kind of shake her down in there. I don't want it to get over on the, on the jicama. Yeah, I have not made, oh, I hate when I grab a big spoon to just smear stuff around if I'm not going to use it. That means it's wasted. Well, poop. Oh, well. Um, I had not done the jicama um, with the au gratin style yet. I'm going to sprinkle just a little of the crave on top of my, my Italian... In Italian inspired Mediterranean inspired lunch so anyway oh yeah I was babbling I got sidetracked so we're expecting bad weather tomorrow and because I live in the south I say south southeast Missouri we don't really know how to drive in bad weather so when they call for it they plan on shutting things down so tomorrow, the plan is at work, they're going to close down at 1 o'clock. They're doing it for the safety of our clients and the staff because we have staff that go out to clients' homes and um, <coughs> be in a behavioral health facility. Um, a lot of our staff go into clients' homes and drive clients around. So they really they have to protect the safety of the clients and the safety of our staff. So... <coughs> You know, so I mean, I know it's for the best. And like I said, since people don't drive well on this stuff, it's better not to have our staff out driving on it, running into people who don't know how to drive on it. So yeah, so I will be at one o'clock. I'm gonna, I finished those hats and, um, and I'm gonna, I'll get, after work, since we get up at one, I'm gonna run by the post office and send off them hats and then I'm going to go to Walmart, so that'll be a good time. One o'clock, maybe it won't be so busy. Of course, who am I kidding? It's Walmart. It's always going to be busy, but I'm going to go after work. Sorry, I got the burps. Um, I'm going to go after work at one o'clock and maybe beat the rush. So, all right, that's what I know. That's our meal prep. I'm going to get this in the refrigerator. I'm still loving my new lunchbox from work. Y'all, it's a thrift store day. This is a sweater I got from the Women's Safe House for $2. I got a little tank top underneath it just for warmth because it's supposed to be really cold. And then these are the $4 jeans that I got from the Men's Teens Challenge place for $4. So this is my $6 outfit, sweater and pants, and I'm wearing my $8 coat. Ha <laughs> So, there we go. I am all thrifted up today. And I did a thing, a thing, as if it's a big deal. I parted my hair on that side. I don't know why, I just went with it. So I parted my hair to that side instead of that side. But it gives you a whole different feeling. You just feel like you got a whole new hairdo, a whole new outlook on life. But, okay, bye morning i have my protein coffee and i'm having my egg muffin so that's what i'm having for breakfast see you at lunch hey there's 12 30 on thursday they closed our offices so that the clients and staff were not out driving around it's starting to mist a little bit see we have offices in five different counties and so, you know, they try to do the right thing for all the counties and all the clients that we serve. So, they, um, so they closed us down at 12 o'clock today. It went from 2 o'clock at the first email. 
then one o'clock the next email, and then the next email said 12 o'clock. So, um, this is what I made up at the beginning of the video. I had a little mishap in my, um, in my, my, my lunch bag. Um, I guess as it tilted, this is not the most uh, liquid proof type of container and stuff kind of spilled out. So next time I do the Mar the Rayos, I'll probably put it like in a container, a little screw on lid, but that's okay. I got it wiped off. Let's see how it tastes. Now, this was jicama, and I did it like I did the, the all gratin. So let's see. Hey, that's pretty good. Let me try another one. Huh, that really blends well together. The sweetness of the jicama with the, with the yeast and garlic and onion from the All Day Crave, that, uh, that's got a good flavor. Oh, and then it also has one tablespoon of heavy whipping cream. So, all right, that's what I'm having for lunch. I will see you guys at supper. And it look pretty out here? I hear people outside. I don't know who's out there. Anyway, I got some snow on the roofs and snow on the grounds. We rarely get snow here. It's usually ice and sleet. So... I'm excited. We got some pretty snow out here. Yay. This house looking right now in the backyard. They say they shut things down. I'm almost talking about that it's the wind. And the wind is picking up. You can see the blowing. The worry was that it was the, the wind and it was going <clears> to <throat> mess up the roads and stuff. But, yep. So, that's how it's looking here. Okay, bye. Hey, hey, it's supper time. I've got some ground beef and some pan fried rutabaga. I'm gonna let this go just a smidge longer. And let's see what I'm in the mood for. Don't want Italian. <clears throat> How about just good old, I'll use the umami seasoning. This is the McCormick's from Walmart. Umami seasoning. Hey, I've got a little bit of that pico de gallo left. So I'm going to see about finishing that off. Because it's going to go bad. So umami. Some of this pico de gallo. One tablespoon, two tablespoons, and a pinch more. All right, so we're going to do that. So let me put this lid on here. Oh, my stars are making a mess. Okay, so we got that. So a little bit of onion and tomatoes into my ground beef. Um, how about a little bit of garlic, a little garlic, this is the freeze dried garlic, that's like almost gone, um, what's this, oh let's put a little chili powder in it, I don't know why, just because I saw it, what is this, ooh some Montreal chicken seasoning, Grab and go, man. Just grab and go. Don't think about it. Just grab it and add to your little heart's content. It's looking like a winter wonderland outside. It's so pretty. I hate being cold, but... But I'm sure it's pretty out there. 
tastes good, but I need to microwave it longer. Hang on. Gosh, swap them out. That's that pan fried rutabaga. And it is smoking like the dickens. So I'm gonna sit here and we're gonna wait. We're gonna wait till it cools down. Okay. Now see if that makes it a little bit better. Ow. Let's hold off on that. Let's try the rutabaga. Yeah, that's good. That's real good. Well, here goes nothing. <clears throat> here goes every piece of skin cell in my mouth that I'm going to burn. Need salt. A little potassium. Where's my salt? And here's some salt. Let's see. Much better. All right. That's my supper. Whatever this is in rutabaga. Have a good night. I'm in my hat. I'm in my bonnet. So I'm all set. Got my curls under control. I took a nap when I got home too. I haven't taken a nap in forever. But I took a nap with the, and I cuddled up with the pupper dogs. So, okay. Happy, was well, today's Thursday, so you'll see this Friday. So happy Friday when you see this. Here's my macros for the day. You can see my calories, my protein, my carbs, and my fat, and all that good stuff. Have a good night, y'all.